Two now and after more than a month of testimony and nearly two dozen witnesses, closing arguments are scheduled to begin today in the criminal hush money trial of former President Trump. And that means the fate of the former president and the current Republican frontrunner will soon rest in the hands of a jury. Eyewitness News reporter Lindsay Tuckman live in lower Manhattan with what we expect to play out later on today. Lindsay. Mike, attorneys on both sides will have their final chance today to try and convince the jury that everything they've heard over the past several weeks is either enough or not enough to convict the former president. Indeed, those closing arguments are scheduled to begin later this morning in former President Donald Trump's criminal trial over alleged hush money payments to porn star Stormy Daniels. She, of course, was one of the 22 witnesses we have seen take the stand in the past several weeks. Mr. Trump himself chose not to testify. But all of the evidence will be summarized today before it becomes up to those 12 jurors to make a decision. Have prosecutors proved beyond a reasonable doubt that Trump knowingly, testif uh, knowingly falsified business records to keep the story under wraps ahead of the 2016 election? The defense, meantime, is likely to call into question several um, things within the prosecution's evidence, including Michael Cohen's testimony, as well as the fact that former Trump exec Alan Weisselberg, who is serving jail time, of course, himself for perjury, never testified. So Trump's attorneys will present their closing first, followed by the prosecution. The goal is to have these closing arguments done by the end of today. So it could be a bit of a longer day to make sure that gets done with the goal then to start tomorrow, those jury deliberations where they will be tasked with a very weighty decision. We're live in Lower